regard to the motto of APC. It's an insult to the principle of APC and it negates that motto, justice, peace, and unity. They say when there is no leader, you begin to respect him. So what is happening have made some of us to think and believe that President Muhammadu Buhari is one of the most perfect Democrats that we will ever produce. Because he has the powers and everything to manipulate, give direction, endorsement of who becomes the president of this country. And yet, with the support and knowledge of governance of Northern Governors Forum, they said presidency should go to the South because not have done eight years. What was the reason for doing that? Because our party's motto is justice, peace, and unity. And having done that, under your able leadership, sir, you fold your hands and arms and sat to allow aspirants contest election on the supremacy of Nigerians through the delegates to choose whosoever they want to be the flag bearer of our party. The vice president contested. He was, he is the closest person to Mr. President. And yet because of democracy and because of justice in APC, delegates we are allowed to choose whosoever they want to choose to run the flag of our party. Where is this principle, sir? Where has it been thrown to? Have we forgotten about the motto of our party? Have we recently forgotten about the leadership, the national chairman of our party and Mr. President, plus all of you have provided during the primary election of APC? If we have forgotten, sir, with utmost respect, like my elder brother said, and on my bended knees, we are here to remind you of the motto of APC. We are here to remind you of what just happened during the presidential election. Do we want unity to say that the deputy senate president should go to northwest and the speaker should go to northwest when in the true sense of the word, sir, during presidential election, North Central haven't known to have majority number of Christians. With utmost apology, let me say this. And with the religious and tribal affiliation attributed to 2023 election, yet North Central resisted the temptation, voted five, delivered four states for our president elect Aswajubola Ahmed Tinubu, delivered 11 senators, not West 10, with two states. Not is one state with 10 senators. And the state that have performed like this for Mr. President will be relegated to half party chairman and perhaps as they insinuate secretary to the government of the federation positions that president or whosoever can scream at them and they have no locus to speak for the people of North Central. So we, we need fairness. We need justice. That is why we are here. We need peace and we need unity. Sir, I was a deputy speaker in Plato. I'm chairman Navy. In my four years in the National Assembly, hey, they said the candidate they picked founded 70-something bill. None of those bills were assented to by Mr. President. In his over 10 years in the National Assembly. And in my three, four years in National Assembly, I did 21. And Mr. President signed six. I know no parliament that within six years, within three years, have the privilege of sponsoring six bills upon which the president assented to. So what qualification are they saying about with the number of 70-something bills? So justice should be done. We, we are appealing because you are a father. But the true language of our appeal is your status, your respect, you are, being a, you are my grandfather. Being a friend to my father, Yakubu Hussein Zumunta, and what have you. But if not, sir, because of the integrity of the members of the State Working Committee, the real language in our letter is that we are rejected. 
We are rejecting what is in circulation. It is unacceptable to us. We are independent bodies. Sir. National Assembly cannot be torn to be like a Federal Executive Council where you pick whosoever you want to pick for. It can't run, be run like that. When we will elect our leaders, all of you will not be there. It is we and the conscience and our covenant with the people of Nigeria that will be in the hallowed chamber. So it is better. It is not let. Let the wrongs that is meted. That thing is wrong. So let the wrong that is meted be righted. Unless this is done and justice is done, sir. Our party should not hope that our loyalty will be guaranteed at the detriment of justice, peace, and fairness. We will respect justice, unity, and peace, equity in the chamber. But only if your instruction is in line with this principle of our party. So do not hope that we that come here will succumb to any instruction and any directive given to us. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Let the way and manner president is chosen, leadership of the National Assembly too, should be given that opportunity to choose its own leader. Zone it. Allow the zone to choose whosoever. Allow the members to choose whosoever they want to choose from the zone for the betterment of democracy. God bless you, sir. It's dead a long time ago. Speaker alone, the Excellency, cannot produce speaker, produce deputy speaker. Sir, I came into National Assembly in 2007. By the grace of God, I'm into my fifth term. I came in as a member of AC to ACN to now APC. I have run election on opposition without governor, without councillor, not any assistant. And I think I've seen it all in terms of resilience. And they say preserve and conquer difficulty. We have preserved to keep unity. And I want to tell this congregation, sir, I'm able to ask the speaker in one of our meetings with him. I said to him, what is making you to think when the whole thing they was released, he came to us, he came to my house. I said, what makes you think that what you have done will stand the test of time? I don't know if it's going political lineage. I think I'm a better person in terms of leaders of Aswaji family because I came in under AC from 2007 until when we had the merger. I've served you as deputy leader of the house. I'm now serving you as deputy speaker of the house of representatives. If you are going to do anything, what makes you think that we're not qualified? And if you are going to look to the sideways, what makes you look and think that Adodogwa is not qualified? Don't worry, sorry. Having served as chief of the house for four years, now leader of the house for four years, and then you think hierarchy can be destroyed. Not in parliamentary parties. It's never done anywhere. And I said to him, you are misleading our leader because the leader we know is not what you are now trying to show. And I'm referring to the, the president-elect because they are dropping his name. And I don't want to believe to this moment that the president-elect is the one behind this. I don't want to believe it. And I said to him, you are going to notice, you have a chairman of operation. In ranking, after, after the, the leadership, he comes. You are a senator, you are a senator, and you know him. So if you are doing that, sir, and you are a senator too, sir, what is making you to think that you cannot go and to pick Vetera? Did you work and succeed, and you succeeded, and you announced that you are now saying succeeded as only a person trained me by Jai Miller? I said, it's not done like that. We all gave you the cooperation. If it is an executive session, I will reveal to you certain things I mentioned to him, that it is because we are able to stomach a lot of things that we didn't allow the house to go on Ranko. And it is sacrificed. So we have sacrificed. If it is gunning for votes, we have gone to look for the votes for the party. We have worked as seriously for the party. In the national, Mr. Chairman, sir, respected leaders, we are here to protest and to tell, appeal to you to go again to look into this matter. That what has been ushered out will not stand. And we are a disciplined party people. I have demonstrated that when in 2000 and 
15, my brother knows. I was elected chief whip. I got the signing. But when prevailing and then uh, issues came, they asked me to step down from my brother. And Dogwa was given the chief whip. Bubaba from my zone was given the, dep the deputy leader of the house. I did that. And I sacrificed for the system. I'm not a selfish politician. That did not stop there. When I was giving, I'm here for service. We're not here for any other thing. I want to protect and defend our people. I want to say, too, in 2019, Your Excellency, and the certain members of the uh, National Working Committee, I was going in for speakership. I was pretty sure I was going to win. Leaders of the party called me, and leadership, including the president, and appealed to me to step down for honorable family. I did that. And that was how I came in to take the position of the deputy speaker. So it means that we are party people. We are disciplined. And by our culture, we are very disciplined people. I want to say, sir, what has happened, I think that they are trying to take for granted. If there was negotiation, he, he was also called to negotiation. Because in that year, he was also among those who were running. And we had a series of meetings. And there was conversing before we eventually arrive. Sir, I want to appeal. I don't know whether the, the National Public Secretary was doing that on his own or, or he was doing on behalf of the National Working Committee. He recall, sir, because we should save ourselves from embarrassment. There was a moment when somebody was given as a presidential candidate. But again, we saw the protest. And we saw how Nigerians came together to say, no, power must shift. And power shifted. And this is part of what we, I think we should also be giving. We should be giving respect. We should be giving recognition. We should be appreciated for the good service we have done. And I want to believe we have given our best. And the best should not be taken for granted. We are Nigerians. If I cannot speak the truth at this hour, I'm not qualified to be a member of House Representatives. I'm not qualified to be in that great hallow chamber for the period of time I've been here. And I want to say we are willing and appealing to you that when issues were being thrown off the excellency, that my brother Betera is eminently qualified, but I should step down because we have a vice president there. Why then are we having loop side date uh, distribution? Is this because those of us for the North Central are taking for slaves? Or we are not recognized in spite of our own activity? Four years is not too much. Let us not destroy this party before we go into our next, next election. We should build this party on the spirit and trust of equally distribution of everything resources. It's guaranteed by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Section 14.4 is very clear. That the composition of government of Nigeria or any of the agencies shall be carried out in such a manner as to defray the federal government of Nigeria, thereby ensuring that should not produce problems of persons for a free state or for a, uh, uh, ethnic in that government or any of the agencies. This is the constitution that is guiding us. So if the party is not doing that, and then they are throwing the provision of the constitution, and then Muslims some of us, I think it's not going to be taken, sir. I'm sorry, I'm speaking as an activist because I was one, and I remain one, and I will continue to be one, because I believe that every entity in Nigeria must have a say. I believe every entity in Nigeria must be carried. This is the truth why some of us jump even then, my state was pretty big to go to AC because I thought I could get a better liberation and address in terms of what I want. Not the party I built to this state, not the party I helped to come to this state should come and destroy us. Your Excellency, sir, I'm sorry. You know you are my father in all ways. You know my relationship with you is not now. It's not here. Back home, back home from Andina's house, to my brother, Mr. Jacobides, you are more than an uncle and a father to me. I cannot, for any reason, speak to you the way I'm speaking to you. But because of the reality of the situation, I have to talk to you in this manner. And I appeal to you, sir. And I appeal to the conscience of this great institution of our party to again revisit what they have done. Even though you have said it's not for close, but the attempt now and the sell out now is that this is a for close matter because it is also in the social media and i think it will not pretend well we do not want a repeat of what has happened in the past we should not forget about the temporalization of what happened in the nice 
we should not forget about the emergence of how uh, uh, Taraki became the Senate president. The party, as of today, we do not have the majority to be that arrogant. And we should not take people for granted. Thank you very much. This is my comment, sir.